Well, welcome back to Tammy's Kitchen. It's been quite a while, but I was going to make it, but she decided she's making it. We're going to put together a ham and bean soup. And we don't go buy no recipe. We just do it the way we want to do it. So if you want to know how we do it, you're going to have to watch. Getting the celery cut up. She got a great big sweet onion. She's going to cut up. We'll add some carrots in there, the ham, and the beans. Well, here comes the tears. Cutting a big old sweet onion up. She won't cut it too fine. Uh -uh. Well, while I'm down here, just thought I'd throw this in. The old Concord grape wine, it's really working. That'll be some good stuff when it's done. All right, I got to get the beans and stuff upstairs to Tammy so I don't get yelled at. Now, well, on to the ham. She's chopping up ham for it. And this comes from the Amish over at the uh, farmer's market. That's what they call scraps. You can go over and get scraps or dog bones from them. Well, if you're just making soup or something, this is the way to go. Much cheaper to buy these. Mm, you better get the sharp knife. Cut your fingers off. I don't know. Maybe we ought to change the title of this to... Uh, ham soup she likes a lot of ham in it and it's gonna be a lot in that crock pot okay the crock pot is got the uh, onion it's got the ham and the celery in there now she's tearing up bacon give a little shout out to our friend in the great white north Christy Christy look there's bacon going in there And, well, she's running the sink. You'll hear that. And if you hear her breathing, it's her allergies. She's kind of stuffed up from allergies this morning. But uh, we're being lazy. We didn't soak any beans, so we're using these uh, canned Great Northern beans we had down in the pantry. She gets her all stirred up in the crock pot. I'll show you that. And then when, uh, when we serve it up, I'll show you that. Going to be good. Well, she's got her stirred up there. Now the black pepper's going in. We won't add any salt because of the ham till it's ready to be uh, eaten and we can adjust it then. We'll, we'll test it. That way it's not too salty. And some people will add uh, a little bit of a, like either stewed tomatoes or a little bit of just chopped tomatoes in theirs. When it's done, I like a splash of hot sauce in mine. But there you have it, and we'll bring you back and show it to you when we're eating it. Well, there it is. I dished me a bowl of her out because I, I'm getting a little hungry. But the longer this cooks, the thicker it gets, the better it gets. But you can see the carrots and the ham and the bacon and celery, onions. And I'll adjust a little uh, salt and pepper to taste. But it's going to be a good meal. All right, we'll see you when you guys come back again. We'll get her to cook something else up, hopefully.